In this video, I'm gonna walk you through my post-production process of the biggest video campaign I did in 2023. Workflow is everything, and my goal with editing is to get stuff done as fast as possible while keeping a good quality standard. With that, my process hinges on structure and organization. How I set up a project is usually in five root folders. Timelines, footage, audio, graphics, and BTS. When everything is set up and imported, I start working on making the assembly cut, then selects, and then the rough cuts. Each time you need to make a revision or change, duplicate the timeline to make a new version. This makes life a lot simpler because it helps me keep track of how many revisions I'm doing. And if I need a reference back to a video, I can go back to that version rather than try to think what I did. Like I said before, timelines were very tight, so while I was doing my stuff, I gave a heads up to my colorist Jesse and my composer Josh on what I needed from them so they could prep it in advance. The first step in our coloring process is setting up looks. So for Jesse, I sent him about 5-10 to 10 seconds per video so he could prep the looks. Once the looks were approved and we were at picture lock, I sent Jesse the videos in an uncompressed ProRes 444 format. I usually try to have color sessions in person, but because the timeline was so tight, Jesse and I opted for a video call and worked through the grades virtually. On a side note, getting a professional colorist on your team is a must. It does cost a bit, but again, what they can do versus what a person like I can do is night and day. And again, I'd rather take a reduced payment on my end to ensure that my clients get the best value for their money. Music tells and elevates the story by so much, and it was the key thing that helped our project stand out even more. Once the first rough cut was ready, I shared it with Josh so he could create some temp tracks. And then when we hit picture lock, I sent him all the videos and he did his magic. Luckily all the videos needed the same music, but all had different timing so he had to adjust that on his end. With agency work, sending final deliverables can get a little bit technical, but it's not as hard as you think. In this case, the producer sent me a document stating all the videos that were required, their resolutions, and their file names. It was a little bit tedious, but that's how it goes in the commercial world. Once that was done, I, I uploaded it to Google Drive and sent it over. This whole production from beginning to end was super fast paced and full of a lot of challenges, but we made something really amazing. I learned a lot from this entire process and I hope this video series that I made helped you in some way, shape or form as well.